everybody. I'm Amanda Burian. At this, um, at a bit of a different angle than everyone else tonight, and that I'm going to be talking about a franchise. So I've been a student here at Rockhurst for five years. The first four of those were undergrad, obviously, and I lived on on campus all four years. So this is my first year living off Rockhurst campus, and this is also only my second year with a, with a car. You can say. So what I'm trying to get at is that I lived on campus for three years without a car and without any way to get off campus. So I had a meal plan. And I ate at the same three places every day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, for three years. And I can tell you that it got pretty old pretty fast. Uh, and I know that there are a lot of other students, just like me, that are in the same place today. Currently, we have three options at Rockhurst. The first is Thomas More Dining Hall, which we all call the cast, I'm pretty sure. Uh, they offer some to-go options. They rotate out hot foods for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and get a salad bar. There's the pub, which offers grill options like burgers, chicken tenders, fries, uh, onion rings, all the healthy stuff. And then there's Planet Sub, which just offers a variety of sub sandwiches. I'm not trying to knock any of these. They have great food. I'm just trying to make the point that eating at the same couple of places every day for a year, two, or three, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, gets old pretty fast. For this reason, I know that Rockers needs another dining option for students on campus. And luckily, there's a brand new retail space right at 51st and Truce underneath the new parking garage, which is where I decided that I would, would put in a food lens. I thought a while about the type of dining place that I think Rocker students would really appreciate here at Rockers. I asked students what they would look for in a new place to be on campus, and the three main things that I found were convenience, late hours, and a variety of foods. In Pickleman's uh, meets all these, all these criteria. My first experience with Pickleman's was in Columbia at the zoo. I was visiting some friends, and like typical college students, we went out, we got home late, and we wanted something to eat. Now, if I were here in Kansas City, I would have been, uh, you know, I would have to deal with it and go to bed or hitch a ride with someone else, maybe sit in one long line at Taco Bell, which is crazy people around here. <laughs> but my friends at the zoo, they knew just what to do. They called Pickleman's ordered some food, and within a matter of 20 minutes, we had food delivered right to us. And it was really good. I remember exactly what I had the first time. Buffalo chicken sandwich, tomato soup, really good. I ended up finding out that they have a location also in St. Louis, which is my hometown. And so I went home there whenever I visit back home, and it's just really good food. One good thing that they have going for them, which I've touched on, is the variety of options. They have lots of subs, soups, salads, and pizzas, which uh, is one of those things that I think would be really important on campus here. Similar to the way I feel about Panera, I feel like it's a place you can go to multiple days in a row, not order the same thing, and never get, never get sold. The other great thing that they have is their hours. Most of their locations are open from 10 until 2 a.m. Their location in St. Louis on the Swift campus is actually open until 3.30, Wednesday through Saturday, for those late at night party goers. And uh, this is really essential for college students because college students have to work around their class schedule. So they may need to go to an early lunch, early at lunch, early dinner, early at dinner. They may be out late studying or going out and need to get some food when they come home. <coughs> the other great thing is the convenience factor. Obviously, Rockers is a pretty small campus. There's There are about 1,000 students, almost 1,000 students that live on campus. And they're all pretty limited to their food, and I know that they would be really excited about a new option on campus. And being that it is such a small campus, if you put them on the opposite side of campus from where the parking garage is, it would still probably be less than a 10 minute walk to get there. But the other great thing is, for those who are maybe a little bit more lazy, the Coleman's delivers. So they can call, have the delivery guy come drop it off at their dorm or their on campus. Another thing that is good about the location is that Young KC is right across the street, so there's also the potential for Young KC students to stop by, and of course, always for non students to stop in. Another thing that I think is a great advantage is that it's another option, another place for students to work on campus. I think that they'll get lots of applications right away, people are able to, people that don't have a car are able to work at the right on campus. <coughs> so today, Pickleman's has 10 locations. 
locations, and the majority of these are all on college campuses. Here you can see um, one that's on Mizzou campus. It was founded in Columbia in 2005, so there are actually three on Mizzou's campus. There's one in Lawrence at KU, one in Lincoln, one in Norman in Oklahoma, and in Springfield for Missouri State. I just found out um, within the last week they announced they're opening two more St. Louis locations. One's in Kirkwood, and they are opening their first King City location on the Kansas side at 135th and Metcalf. And I spoke with them, and I found that they're actually looking to open five to seven more locations in the Kansas City area uh, in the near future, and that's why I know that Pickman's will do really well on Rockers campus, and I think it's a perfect restaurant to put in in the new retail space. And I'm going to open it up to you guys for any questions on that. Are they all company owned now? Um, no, they're fran they franchise. Um, I don't know about all of them, but I know that they do. Um, they can probably like them. I mean, I know we said we're ideal going into that parking garage, and obviously we talked before that, you know, as a rock <coughs> grad myself, I would have loved this option. Do we know what the rent is there? Yes, um, it's 10 to $15 per square foot for the lease. Um, Plus build out, right? Yeah, they said they would allow $25 per square foot for build out. So, uh, so what, how big of a space do you want? It's typically, um, from what I've seen, they're not too big, like they're kind of more like subway style, I and mean, it doesn't look the same as subway on the interior, it's a bit nicer, but um, just tables kind of like down one side of the wall, and then kind of. So like a thousand square, two thousand square feet, thousand? Yeah. Did you do any projections on profitability and how long, what the startup cost would be? I do have a startup cost. Um, the, they gave that. They said it could be anywhere from two hundred thousand to three hundred thousand. That includes franchise fee, build out, equipment, marketing, and they just said most other expenditure that you incur. <coughs> Plus your lease, right? Yeah. That two hundred or three hundred doesn't include your lease. Um, yeah. At that at that barrier, you know, I'm thinking of a subway at you know thirty six k. Is there not something that is a maybe less well-known franchise, but maybe slightly more affordable? Because when you're naming off some of these, uh, you know, Springfield, Norman, KU, Mizzou, big state universities, you know, where the small private Catholic mm -hmm. school happens to be across from a smaller version of a public university, mm -hmm. does the profit, <coughs> thinking about that $200,000 entry point, mm -hmm. was there another franchise you looked at, or was that was maybe a little less um, well I really like this one just for the variety. I mean, I thought about some other ones. There's one called Witch Witch, which is also in Columbia. Um, I didn't really go into really looking at the pricing or anything just because they really only offer sandwiches, and I thought that would be more direct competition than something like that itself or another option. Like this. It's like, like the was you mentioned, having the, the, the barrier and the limit to being limited to rockers, did you consider putting it somewhere else so that there'd be easier access from the moon case to rockers and then even people from the plaza or downtown? Yeah, I, well, the whole idea for me really started with wanting something else on rockers campus, so we're kind of really focused around that. What's kind of their, oh, sorry, what's kind of their average meal item price? So what would like a sandwich or A sandwich, sandwich is probably like six ninety five or something like that, and then you can add on like a super salad. So probably around $12 if you want, you know, the soup and the sandwich. So it's not too bad for the average choice. Do you know what they typically produce in revenue? Um, I don't have that. Uh, the two to three hundred thousand dollars typical for the first three. Is that a requirement by the franchisor or is that simply their recommendation? Um, they just told me that that's typically what you can expect to spend. So I would assume that it's required. <coughs> and that was for a 10 year. And then they, um, if you want to keep it going after that, it's $5,000 for five years then. So the, the cost goes down significantly after you've had it for 10 years? I 